Good evening and welcome to Ending the Day with God on Monday the 17th of October. We opened our worship this evening with Joseph Reinberger's Ab and Lied. Peace to us and to all who seek good. The peace of the Spirit be ours this night. The peace of the Son be ours this night. The peace of the Father be ours this night. The peace of all peace be ours this night, each morning and evening of our lives. We offer you, Lord, the troubles of this day, we lay down our burdens at your feet. Forgive us our sins, give us your peace, and help us to receive your word. Amen. Tonight we begin a new theme entitled, On a Journey. The spiritual life is often explored through the metaphor of a journey. And indeed, every life is a journey, a journey into the unknown, sometimes overshadowed by pain and grief, sometimes illuminated by shafts of joy, but always full of surprises. During the next two weeks, however, we will be making a very real journey with Paul and his companions on the way to Jerusalem. While this journey is both historical and physical, it is also a spiritual journey, confronting Paul with unexpected challenges, trials, and an intensive encounter with God's grace. Our first reading in this theme is Acts chapter 21 verse 1 and verses 4 to 6. We came by a straight course to Kos, and the next day to Rhodes, and from there to Patara. We looked up the disciples and stayed in Tyre for seven days. Through the Spirit, they told Paul not to go on to Jerusalem, when our days there were ended, we left and proceeded on our journey. We knelt down on the beach and prayed and said farewell to one another. Then we went on board the ship. Thanks be to God. And now, tonight's reflection. The pattern of Paul's journey begins as perhaps our own life journey began with a period of plain sailing during which everything seems to be going to plan. The travellers pass without problems from one port to the next but life rarely proceeds smoothly and the calm is soon to be shattered. Paul is abruptly confronted by a stern warning against going to Jerusalem. Suddenly the journey resembles not so much one we might have taken ourselves, but one which Jesus actually did take. It recalls how Jesus too was warned by Peter not to go to Jerusalem. Yet both Jesus and Paul choose to go against this advice. Going to Jerusalem for both of them means living true to what they believe God is asking them to do, whatever that might cost. This is much more than a journey. This is a mission which will cost them their lives. Perhaps we have also experienced the disruption and the upheaval caused when our plans are suddenly interrupted 
and called into question. Few of us travel far without encountering such barriers and obstacles. And perhaps we have also had to choose between a course of action that we know in our heart to be right and other more attractive and safer options. Recognizing the sacred nature of the forthcoming journey, Paul kneels on the beach to pray before departing. Irish readers especially may be reminded of St. Brendan, who famously knelt on the beach before leaving his native land to embark on a life-changing voyage, entrusting himself entirely to God for all that lay ahead, leaving only his knee prints in the sand. Every life is a hazardous but also a sacred journey. May we have the grace to entrust our lives entirely to God's guiding as we embark on each new day. Amen. We join together now in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, thank you for your love for us, strong and nurturing. We give back our lives to you. Thank you for our minds and bodies. We give back our lives to you. Thank you for the past day. We give back our lives to you. After creation, God rested. We give back our lives to you. Lord, protect us through the hours of this night, be they silent or stormy, that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of a restless world may rest upon you eternally. You created the world out of love. Now we return to you in love. Let us rest in God this night and awake in newness of life. Amen. <laughs>